I'm not in the rugby AM gear today, and I apologise to all our our followers and fans out there. This is a quick social video because when you work in the rugby league community, it's so small, and we like to uncover the truth. The truth. And uh, Cats, we saw an article written today in the YEP about you potentially selling the franchise of Wakefield Wildcats. And I just had to give you a call, just out of interest, more than anything, uh, to find out what the actual truth is of the matter. Yeah, it, it, um, it couldn't have come at a worse time, really, on a game, game day. day. Yes, game I've day. been here since 8 o'clock this morning. I'll probably still be here at 12 o'clock tonight. So I could have done without it. Um, yeah, it was a surprise to me when I saw the headline as well, Wakefield Trinity to, to sell franchise. Um, it, was a, it was a big surprise. Uh, there is no truth in it. Um, there's been a meeting of all Super League clubs in February. Yep. It was discussed for approximately 10 to 15 minutes, an idea that was just thrown about in the room. Uh, would there be interest in expansion areas coming and, and so sort like of... So like Coventry yeah, or Coventry, Toronto, Bristol, Bristol. Toronto and kind of fast-tracking themselves into, into Super into League. Super League. Um, if they had the, the resources, the fan base, the structure, you know, all that sort of thing. Um, and that was the end of it, you know, a yeah. 10 or 15 minute conversation. And then suddenly, six weeks later, I, I wake up to a headline that Wakefield Trinity are selling their Super League franchise. So, uh, yeah, could have done without it. I've had a number of uh, concerned parents from yeah, yeah. under 16s, under 19s, wondering what's happening to their players and, and clubs. So, um, yeah, could have done without it, really. So, no truth at all is Wakefield remaining a Super League club for the foreseeable future. No, nothing going to be changing on that uh, tip. Th there's nothing on the table. You know, I, I got asked the question this morning. Would you consider it? Well, there's nothing to consider. Um, you know, there's no, there's no meat on the bones. There's no. Uh, <laughs> are you getting your money out? How about oh, seven pound and three pence? I, I, it's not seven pound and three pence. I need a little <laughs> bit more than that. You know, the, the figure of two million's been thrown out there, but yeah. you know, there's nobody sticking their hand up to. Yeah, yeah. To, to uh, you know, even consider that. So, um, you know, minimum standards are being reintroduced in yeah. the Super League. Yeah, which I think we, is a good thing. Yeah, um, listen, I can't complain about yeah. that. You know, where uh, our ground lets us down. Yeah. We've been trying to get a new one for 30 years. Quite rightly, I think the rest of Super League are sick and tired of hearing of excuses of why we haven't got a, a new ground. So, we've got to we've got to face that head on. They also want, uh, you know, crowds to increase, attendances yeah. to increase. I think the two are linked. Um, I think if we could get a new ground, then our crowds would go up. But it's within our hands. We we need to get to a, an average crowd of six and a half thousand. That's what they're kind of looking at as a as a sort of bona fide member of Super League. So that's within our own hands. We need to get two thousand more people down here on every game day. Is that a Wakefield City Council job to to, to like Cass, Castleford? Obviously, are getting the new ground. That's something that private investment. Uh, Mm -hmm. Obviously, the Fulton family uh, teed all that up before Jack obviously sadly passed away. But that's that's a great new uh, opportunity for the Castleford Club to to grow yeah. into that new stadium, and it's yeah. going to be located right right off the motorway, so it should mm -hmm. increase. Uh, the fan base as well. Is that something that Wakefield City Council need to probably come to yourself and help you out with? I, I, I'm not blaming the council for this. Yeah, you know, yeah. five years ago we had a, a public inquiry, a three-week yeah. public inquiry, and a developer got 220 acres of greenbelt land yeah. uh, put into uh, industrial use on the back of promising a community stadium for Wakefield. So this is a this is an issue for the citizens of Wakefield, yeah. and that's what I'm fighting on behalf of. That so someone's you know, actually had that land and have promised a community stadium, and it's yeah. not been delivered. Uh, the, it, it was taken out of Greenbelt on the back of delivering wow. a community stadium, and that hasn't happened. Not one brick, not one penny put towards a community stadium. I'm not asking the council for money. I'm asking the council for help and backing and supporting us in enforcing. Uh, the stadium that was promised to the citizens of Wakefield. That's what we're asking for, not money. And, and I want to be so categoric on that. Yeah. It's not what we're asking for. We're asking for support. Absolutely outstanding, mate. And obviously, it's, it's quite sad because there's many a lad who's, who's run up and down this pitch from the area of Neil Fox to more recent times, and, and this, this ground's going to be going soon. Yeah, absolutely. It will be a sad day. Um, I'm hoping that Chesie can get us in the top eight, and yeah. then the last game of the season, uh, whoever we end up playing in the Super 8s, I will name myself on the bench. Yes. Come on for the last minute, <laughs> kick a conversion, say that I've scored points for Wakefield Trinity, <laughs> and, and happily clear off into the sunset. Um, it, you know, all joking aside, it will be a sad, sad day, yeah. but... It's, it's just unviable to use as a rugby league grand as it stands. You know, we're sat here or stood here in the sun 
and you know what it's not too bad yeah um but that that day against hull when it was absolutely teaming it down yeah, for yeah. six hours and everything was leaking i think i saw 10 minutes of the game i was running around trying to solve all sorts of problems it's it's just unfeasible and unworkable as a as a modern day rugby league ground so as sad as it is the oldest rugby league ground in the world um we had a we had a, an inkling of an opportunity to redevelop it but that didn't come to fruition so we we need to say goodbye any any ideas where you might be heading obviously short term medium term yeah there's still two or three options on yeah. the table uh, obviously Dewsbury's been well talked about yeah. well documented um, there's one or two others on the table you know the aim for us is that if we have to move away um, that we find a pathway back to Wakefield and yeah. we find a pathway back to Wakefield in this community stadium and that's what we're fighting for and, and even if I end up leaving here and, and, and kind of going off into the sunset I'll still fight for that yeah. because I'm a citizen of Wakefield I've lived here since 1985 um, that was promised to the people of Wakefield so yeah. we'll, we'll keep fighting regardless of whether it's Wakefield Trinity or not we'll keep fighting for that stadium last question mate like tonight's game obviously Lee at home they're coming off a great run of form you had a, probably a disappointment performance against Leeds last mm. week how was the boys feeling how was the camp how was the uh, back room I think they're good um, you know obviously we're hoping that was just a blip last yeah. week we didn't play well uh, again, well documented that we didn't play well. Leeds were pretty good. I thought um, I, I, I did worry when I saw Garbett named, and, yeah. and he was outstanding last week. Yeah, you know, yeah. 228 meters, I think. So he was outstanding. But we've got to be better. You know, we've got to look at ourselves and, and say, you know, that just simply wasn't good enough last week. The other previous four games, I think we've been pretty decent. Um, been there or thereabouts in every game, and I think two wins from four was probably a fair reflection of where where we'd been at this season. So hopefully we can make it three from three from six. Um, but Lee, obviously no pushovers there. They're going really well, got a really strong unit, um, got a lot of time for what Derek's done at Lee and, and, and Matthew and, and Mike and, and, and people like that. So looking forward to a really tough game. Hopefully we come out on top. Mate, best of luck for the rest of the season. We'll see you down here shortly for a feature on rugby. And it's all good right here at Wakefield. Whether it's power station, factory or stadium, covering installation or maintenance, SPEC, the specialist power contractor to industry. 